never thought, wow, I can only find the most popular mods on CurseForge, but I would love to see some of those really thought out mods that don't get enough attention. Then now, okay guys, I'm York Mouse. Welcome to today's underrated mods for 1.6015. Please consider to subscribe, it's literally one click and only 9% of you are currently subbed. Okay, thanks, enjoy the video. 1. Auto clicker. I thought, yes, I want to destroy my friends in PvP or speedrunning to get banned on a specific server. By the way, this is just a joke. Please don't, don't unsubscribe. It, it wasn't. 1. Customizable Elytras. I thought Elytras are dull looking. Just some grey skin like wings. Even enchanted, they are just a joke. Then you should absolutely adore this mod. Even though it merely adds any tweaks to the real gameplay itself, but allows you to dye your elytra. And even add banner patterns on it. To add your desired dye, just combine it in a crafting table. It's the same with banners. Just design your banner of your wildest dreams and combine it in a crafting table. If you are patriotic, then you can even add your country's flag on your elytra. He has some cute designs I found on Planet Minecraft. Also, if you ever want to remove your banner or color, then just go up to a cauldron filled with water and it will splash it away. 2. Empty Garden Arsenal You love guns? But be honest, they don't really fit into vanilla Minecraft, right? This mod adds guns, but with a really genius twist. Instead of tweaking a really complicated bullet and crafting mechanism into vanilla, it just uses the vanilla resources. Food! Yeah, I know, but give this one a try, the models are really eye-catching. We got the Sugarcane Sniper with a large cooldown but massive damage, Wheat Seeds Pistol, small cooldown, nearly no damage, Carrot Rifle, spam your opponents, Cocoa Bean Shotgun, craft cocoa bean shells with 5 cocoa beans, 1 paper and 3 sugar, it's basically a shotgun. And last but not least, the potato bazooka. But you need potato grenades as ammo, which are just a normal grenade but disguised as potatoes, crafted with TNT, button and a potato. Last but not least, we got the beetroot smoke grenade, which inflicts blindness and I trap cake. Guess what that one does. There are also a ton of skins, but they aren't added in the latest version just yet. They will come out with the future update. Here are some screenies how they could look like. 3. Immortus Calyx We've been getting reports of players infected by a strange new disease. Days after infection, we've seen strange, aggressive behaviors from them. After further inspection, we found out it is a parasite. Now named Immortus Calyx, it poses a high threat to our way of life. While being alive, you can now be infected with one of the nastiest and dangerous parasites in the whole Minecraft universe. As it slowly eats into your organs, you will feel some side effects. With each 450 ticks, the parasite grows by a percentage. In his passive stage 1 to 39, you will feel off color, but no actual side effects. During the transition within 40 to 50 percent, it will stop you from communicating with your friends. If you try to type in chat, you will emit weird noises. At 50 percent, you are contagious. Now it's time to infect friends. From 60 to 94, you will feel better in cold biomes receiving speed while in hot biomes slowness. At 75 percent, you will be injured if you try to use the cure. At 85, you will be granted strength in cold biomes, but in all different ones weakness. At 95%, without health boost, an attempted cure would kill you, as this parasite is too far ingrained. You receive blindness at this point. At 100%, the infection will begin to kill the host. If it successfully kills the host itself, it will assume direct contact with full vitality, producing an affected human entity. Some side info on the contagion mechanism. When you infect a player, a moderate chunk of the parasite you're carrying will leave you to infect the new host. Your infection rate is reduced by 5%. Fully infected entities have a contagion level of 95 and any other zombie has a contagion level of 20. Raw food can also cause infection. It ignores armor value and has a contagion level of 10. Now to some helpful items. The infection scanner will send a redstone signal if the entity stepping on it is in fact infected. If you want more info, craft the health scanner. With a shift click, you will see your infection level. Then we have the syringe and three of the variants. Immortus X infects an ejected player with the parasite. 
scaled by killing infected entities or by using a syringe on an inf infected entity. General antiparasitic cures the infection by 10%, but only if the active infection is below 40. It gives the player an infection resistance that it decreases to normal over time. Get it by using a syringe on a slime. Calyxide cures the infection from a player by 40%, but it can be lethal in later stages of infection. In general, all entities can be infected, but villagers, players, iron golems and a new zombie type spawning in oceans will have a horrifying look. Also, I forgot, now there's airborne infection. Standing within close proximity of heavily infected individuals may have them cough towards you, risking infection. 4. Health Canisters Are you looking for a vanilla-friendly way to increase your health? But it must be tricky so you wouldn't end up with 50 hearts? Then Health Canisters will be the one for you. It adds two different hearts as an item into the game. Normal and Golden, which will drop upon death of entities. Normal hearts can be used to make a heart container, which increases your maximum health by 2. To get those, you need diamonds to make cut diamonds, which will be combined with string to be able to get the base. Craft it with 2 iron and you have a canister. Now if you add a heart to it, you will be granted with a heart canister. But beware, while picking up hearts. Of course, they will only drop when you aren't at full HP, but you won't be able to keep them in your inventory, as they will be automatically consumed. So heal before you pick them up. Golden hearts cannot be stored in your inventory, and also not in a canister. They will be consumed when picked up and act as golden apples, granting you absorption and more hearts for a limited time. But this one can stack, which is really handy for our boss fight. 5. Tea Kettle Do you want some tea that even gives you special effects and fit right into vanilla? Then Tea Kettle will be the one for you. First, they make a kettle with 4 iron and a cup with 5 brick. Fill the kettle with water and place it either on a magma block or a lit furnace plus furnace smoker. It will then start boiling the water. But wait, we need tea leaves first. Tea bushes will spawn throughout forest, you can harvest them with a right click and plant them on whatever block. There are in total 4 different leaves, normal, white, long and black. To get the more stronger variant, you need to smoke it on a campfire. And then you can start with the tea making. Just fill your kettle with water, boil it, fill your cup with your desired leaf and you got your tea. Also to get back your kettle or cup, just right click. All of the tea have different effects. Green, regen and caffeine. White, regen but less caffeine. Along absorption and caffeine. Black caffeine and speed. But beware when consuming too much caffeine, as one can't fall asleep during that effect. Combine rose bushes and bamboo with shears in a crafting table to gain petals, which allow you to get different variants of tea. Bamboo grants resistance, while rose tea a new effect, Zen, that allows you to go to bed whenever you want. 6. Are you bored of microstructures? Then when dungeons arise will be a savior. This one adds a ton of new structures into the game, but we won't. Some are really massive. From towers over ships and massive castle to illager campsites, this dungeon mod adds a structure for every type of player. I won't show you all of the structures because that will just spoil the mod. 7. Frozen Up Ever wanted to make cold biomes more interesting? Frozen Up brings a new tameable and really cute animal to your frozen biomes, the Chilu. These creatures will dig up from time to time items they found in the dirt below them. And if you are lucky, they maybe find some frozen truffle. That can only be acquired this way. With these delicacies, you can tame those little animals. After they are tamed, you can tell them to sit or to follow. And you can give them some cozy sweaters if you click them with a wool block of your desired color. Get it back by using shears. From time to time they will shed feathers which can be converted into blocks or made into carpets. They can also be made into limes that you can turn on or off with a right click. One can also smoke frozen truffles in a smoker to be able to get normal truffle which you can eat or make into delicious meals, truffle muffin and a cake. Make a mug with 5 bricks to then get some handy drinks. The mug of milk which removes all effects, by then cocoa beans you get a drink that removes all effects and also gives you speed. By combining that with some truffle you will be granted with a drink that only removes negative effects and inflicts region. 8. Grasslings now to a smaller but really cute mod. Grasslings introduces small dirt blocks that are actually living. 
These entities can pop up when their home grass or dirt is disturbed, which will scare them. In this state, they will get hungry, starting to eat grass. As it eats, it will drop items it has found deep within the ground. Sometimes we are even able to get really rare loot, as such as diamonds or emeralds. After they are done eating, they will return to being a block. 9. Theridus If you want a creepy dimension filled with wonderful creatures, but also home to the most terrifying mobs that will give you the creeps, then Theridus should be our win-win. To get to the dimension, make a death stone with 4 coal and 1 diamond, and then build a nether portal form out of coal blocks. Voila! You have your entrance. In the dreadlands, glow snails and rumors will spawn. Also blocks that can be harvested, there are fried fungus blocks, fried fungus and silver mushrooms. The next farm is the Limbo, habited by Namus. Fast, humanoid creatures. Sometimes you can find iron or quartz in this biome, next to tonalite blocks. In fervent fields, one can find cinderstone, the new bug, scorcher, scorch stone and blazing blossom. Upon death, glow snails will drop their shell. You may have noticed that they leave a trail of slime behind them. Nine of those can be converted into a slime ball. One can make a full armor set out of these shells, which, when worn, will grant night vision, two, and resistance. Also, you will leave slime wherever you go, but only if you wear the boots. Throughout the dimension, one can find ember stone, which can be made into ember stone lamps, but it's also used for powerful tools. Use ember to combine it with gold in a smithing table to get ember alloy. To cool it down, splash it with a water bucket. But one can make the fervent fire sword with two ember alloys, which has fire aspect and can even one-shot pillagers. Cooled down alloy can be used to make a cooled rod and combine it with a diamond block to get alloyed diamond ingot. All of these three materials are used to make the eternal excavator. Even though it can break any sort of block, it's mainly used to excavate a 3x3 area while mining. You may have noticed these fiery blossoms in the fervent fields. If you break them, you will get seeds, which can be used to make an amulet that grants fire resistance, if it's in your inventory. When killing Scorches, the new bug, you will be set on fire and with so watch out that you don't fry yourself to a crisp. It will drop chitin, which can be used to make another amulet resembling a bug. It will grant you fire thorns, a fiery version of thorns. 10. Cursed Warps do you want a vanilla-friendly teleportation system? Then try out Chorus Warps. It takes the normal Chorus fruits from the end and makes a really creative way to teleport to certain locations. Firstly, craft the Chorus fruit by surrounding it with 8 gold ingot. Then uh, get yourself an ender link and right-click it. When you now eat it, it will teleport you to that ender link. But oh no, the chorus fruit gets consumed. Well, if you rather want a permanent version, craft the enchanted fruit. Yes, it's way more expensive, but it's permanent, so if you eat it, it doesn't vanish. How that works? Don't ask me. This should also work between dimensions, didn't work for me though. 11. Charms Ever wanted to have charms that give you permanent potion effects? Now you can find base charms generating as loot in chests. These base charms can be used to get specific charms in with effects. If you combine it with a specific item, you can get your desired effect. It also now works with Curious, where you can wear it as a charm. The mod is also linked in the description. Or if you hold the charm in your offhand. If you want to get rid of this effect, just splash it with water and you receive your base charm. Some charms can be even upgraded to tier 2 if you combine it with another base charm. There are also containers for charms where the effect will be still activated even though you don't have it on you. The more upgraded version will have more slots and also a much larger area of effect. 12. Better Horse Armor this one is truly a vanilla mod. Not only does it add recipes to all vanilla horse armor, but it even adds two extra armor pieces. Netherite and emerald, again craftable. But that's not everything. You can now change the color underneath your seat by combining the armor with your desired wool color. And you can even add a chance on your horse armor like protection or even frost walker. 13. Enchanted books. Books are sometimes really useless. They will give you the same enchant over and over again, but you are still trying to get that mending or sharpness 5? Then try this mod. It adds tiered books and bookshelves that make enchanting way better. The tiered books from Iron to Netherite allow you to be able to get higher tiered enchants like sharpness 5 or even combos. The higher tiered the book, the better the enchants. Now to the bookshelf. 
The bookshelves are stronger variants of the normal ones, so that means you need less for each tier to be able to get to level 30. Iron you need 8 bookshelves, gold only 5, and the diamond only 4, and netherite only 3. 14. Soul Sand Hands This is just a nice tweak to have. If you step on soul sand, literally hands of the dead souls will try to grab you. This makes it way more creepy. 15. Cookable Berries Everyone knows it, berries aren't that good. So this mod creator thought about this tweak. Now you can cook berries on campfires. It takes a little bit, but they are really good food source and heal ton when cooked. So that was today's video, I hope you enjoyed it. It was a ton of work, so maybe if you enjoyed it then leave a like or even consider to subscribe because only 9% of you are and it's really free and you can always unsubscribe if I go crazy. Now I would say we'll see us in the next video and let me know which was your favorite mod.